Cubes and Spheres by Simon Murphy The cube woke up to his daily task of being put through the sphere, which was a tumbling exercise machine. It was terribly uncomfortable. It had been months of the same arduous exercise, and he had found it horrific. Ow! He met his friend, who was also a cube, going into his sphere to be exercised. He was starting to look quite different, a lot more rounded round the edges, like a die rather than a cube. How can you even bear to go into that sphere to be shaken around every day? Aren't you sick of it? Well, said the second cube, the first day or two was pretty much hell, but that's just how it goes. Once your edges have been completely worn down, you develop less and less resistance. And over time, it ends up being a much more pleasant ride, as you eventually start to look more like our friends over there. He pointed over to one of their friends finishing their shift inside the spherical machine. She had gone from being a cube to a nearly perfect sphere. See how nicely shaped she is now? I suppose. But for me, it's been nothing but pain. Oh! I've tried putting bandages, plasters, and all kinds of protective gear around myself, and it still hurts like hell after weeks. <laughs> oh dear, replied the second cube. I know it doesn't seem right. But the worst thing you could ever try to do is protecting your points and edges. You see, it isn't the machine that's causing you pain. It's them. That's why we are using the machine in the first place. <laughs>